Chiefs, welcome back to Project Anonymous, and in today's video, we're going to attempt to cut aluminum with our fiber laser. So let's get to it. So to test out the cutting capabilities of our Montport GI-20 fiber laser, we're going to create a custom bookmark. Yeah, we're going to make sure in that design that we have not only some engraving, but we're going to have some cutting with some holes in it to test out the cutting ability as this is only a 20 watt fiber laser. So we kind of want to see what it's capable of. Okay, so here's the material we're going to use for this bookmark project. And it's just a painted aluminum card that we're going to try to do some laser cutting and etching on. So first we need to measure this. So now let's jump into Lightburn and bring in our design. All right, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and draw the shape of our card, put in our measurements that we took. All right. And I'm going to give it a radius so it kind of looks like the card. And then I'm going to put this on a tool path because we're not going to be doing any engraving or cutting on this. It's more just a visual to kind of give us an idea of uh, what we're going to be doing. So the next thing I'm going to do is bring in our pattern and then I'm going to trace this. Before I do anything here, put this back onto our engraving layer. I'm going to use our tool path here and make an inset so that we have some edges because obviously we don't want any corners or stuff to be cut off of the card. So we're going to use the outset tool here, but we're going to make it an inset. Yeah, it should be good. And then I'm actually going to use this line here as kind of a path to kind of cut our design out. So I'm going to put this on our path here. And now I can finally move our traced image and kind of position it the way I want it. So now what I can do is I can grab our tracing and then press command and get our rectangle here. And then I can do a Boolean join uh, where I'm going to just get the overlap here. And that's kind of perfect. We also want to add a little bit more details here because we have another image that we kind of want to bring in to just give it a little bit more complexity. As this being a bookmark, we want to kind of bring in some books here. But this isn't going to be cut out. This wouldn't work if we were to cut it out because if you do the cut on the outside here, everything inside would just fall out. So we're going to use this as an engraving. So this is going to be on an engraving layer and we do need to trace this. This will also be fill because it's an engraving. And then what I'm gonna do, because our card is black and I want the black details to actually remain behind and I want everything else engraved, I'm going to ungroup everything here and just select the outer edge of this little design here. You can see that. And then I'm going to do a slight outfill here to just kind of add another line. And you can see that that changes things up so that now the parts that I want to be removed are now colored in. So that's exactly what I want here. So I'm gonna leave that for now, but we need a place to put this because if we put it on here, parts of it would be cut out. So we want to make kind of another little rectangle here to kind of sit in the middle of our design. And then we can center that on our tool path. Just hit this here. And then I probably wanna add some radius to this as well. So let's see, give some radius to this. Let's see, I'm gonna put this back on a line just so it's easier to see. Because what I need to do is I need to remove all of these cutouts. So I need to select our pattern, hit command, and select our little path here. And then I need to select this to get rid of everything in that area. So that's perfect just the way it is. So now what I can do is regroup all of this and put this back on our fill. And now I'm going to kind of size this up. All right, so I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna select our outside toolpath. And then again, I'm gonna hit this little target button to put it right in the center and that is perfectly centered. So now this is going to be engraved out. This is gonna be all black and then these are gonna be cut out. So I think that's pretty good. Oh. We forgot, we do want to put a hole here to put like a little ribbon that we can hang over the edge of the book, but we can't do that with this here. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a little circle here. Let's do 0 0.2, 0 0.2. And this is going to be on the cut layer. And what I'm going to do is 
kind of get this situated where I want it, and then I want it centered, of course. And then I'm gonna reselect that and do an outset of that because I don't want any of the uh, cutoff pieces to go near that hole so that it has some structural ability. But I'm gonna use this piece to get rid of our pattern that's kind of in there. So I'm gonna select our pattern, I'm gonna select this, Okay, so now it's all about getting the settings. So we have done some test runs with cutting out material on this aluminum card. So I'm gonna use our library settings and we'll show you that here real quick. For again, everything that's on the cut layer here is in black. Uh, so we're gonna make sure that's selected. We're gonna go to our library and we gotta make sure we pick the right library because right now we're in the wrong laser. So I'm gonna go to our fiber laser. And of course, that flipped everything upside down for some reason. So now we got our cut line selected. We're gonna go to our library. We go to aluminum, and we want to do the cut. And we're gonna assign that to our selected layer. So now when we go there, you can see here is our settings. So we're gonna do uh, 200 millimeters per second, 100% power. And we've got to do like 17 passes on this. There may be more passes we have to do, but it, because it goes pretty quickly, it shouldn't take terribly long. There's some things that I kind of want to remove because they're not necessary, like this right here. I'm going to ungroup this real quick. There's no real reason to cut this out, so I'm just going to get rid of that. So now for our engraving, we're going to go ahead and select this, go to our library, and go to our engraved. And this should give us like a nice white, sort of light gray engraving. And we'll select this one and assign that to that layer. And here's our settings for that. 2000 millimeters per second, 60% power, frequency of 100, Q pulse 200, interval 0 0.025. And for this one, we do have it on a 45 degree cross hatch. So that's kind of the settings that we do for engraving on these cards, but for our cutting, uh, you can see we got different settings there and many, many, many more passes. With that, I think we're good on the design. We can go ahead and go to the laser. So because we're cutting, I don't want the cut to go through on our table here, which we have some footwork, footwork, have some engravings that uh, ended up taking the paint off of our top layer here. We're gonna use some ceramic tile. This is really cheap ceramic tile, but we're gonna use the bottom side just cause it's kind of lifted a little bit, which will help us be able to see when we're cut all the way through. And we're gonna use that to put our card on top of. Just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and focus now. Okay, so now I'm gonna frame it out so we can make sure our card is in the right spot. Need to move it up a little bit. And this is kind of why we drew that tool path of the card so that we can get this lined up exactly where we want it. I'm gonna do this in steps. I'm just gonna do the cutout section first. So I'm gonna turn the output off on our little engraving area and we're gonna see if we can get these holes to cut out. So here we go. One thing I forgot to mention on our settings for our cutout, you want to make sure you turn wobble on. This will make the laser kind of cuts a lot faster than if you did not have a wobble. So it kind of dwells in the same spot a little bit longer. So very important for cutting, turn wobble on. Okay, so we got the cutout parts done and I can see that parts are cut out and they're dropping down, which is what we want. So now we can move forward with our engraving. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure we are selected our engraving here and we're gonna turn off the, the output of that line and turn on the output of our engraving. And now we can frame that out. And you can see right there is gonna be where engraving is, which is perfect. And here we go. Um, we can probably do another pass and slow it down a bit so we can get more of the details of the outer lines here. Okay, looks good. Moment of truth, make sure all the pieces cut out. Just want to be careful here because some of these could be sharp, but... Pretty clean results. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. So I think there is 
results turned out really cool and I think it's awesome that a fiber laser can cut this material and get some really intricate results. We ended up going ahead and making another one just in another color to see what results we'd get. Yeah, to fine tune our settings for this material. Now, obviously this is very thin aluminum, but it really kind of did it pretty quickly, I would say. If we gave it a little bit longer, we could probably do some thicker material as well. And also this kind of opens the aperture for potentially 3D engravings that we should probably get to testing. And if you want to get a Monport GI20 fiber laser for yourself or any other Monport laser, make sure to use our discount code. Anonymous10 to get 10% off any machine at the Monport website. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get reminded every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.